Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Nelva. Welcome to your daily dose of Microsoft Flight Simulator news. This is our third episode with this new video format on YouTube, and I hope you've been enjoying it. As usual, constructive criticism and comments are welcome. We start with the MDG, and specifically the upcoming Boeing 737-900. While we still don't know exactly when it will be released, YouTube user 737NG Driver, who is also a member of PMDG's tech team, posted a neat video showing the aircraft in action for the first time, with a landing in the new Newark Airport by Drosiaki Design. You can find the link to the full video in the description, and at this point I expect a release date announcement relatively soon, even if this is just my personal speculation. FC Studio released two new screenshots of Calgary Airport in Canada, which according to the developer is progressing quite nicely. All buildings are completed, except the terminal area, and release is planned for early 2023. Aerosoft showcased new screenshot of Northern Norddeich in Germany, providing another look at this small airport in Lower Saxony. At the moment we don't have a release window or any further information, but it's a good base if you like to fly to the East Frisian Islands. You can even see the islanders belonging to FLN Frisia Luftwerke, which usually handle the scheduled flights. Mokui released Chinggis Khan International Airport, the primary international airport serving the capital of Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar. This airport started operations in 2021, so it's brand new. It also includes the navigation data, which is missing in the simulator. It's available on SIM market for approximately 12 US dollars. Last but not least, FS Formosa released some interesting pictures showing vehicles like taxi cabs, buses and trucks. This team has been doing an excellent job creating airports in the country of Taiwan, and in the picture you can see their Pongu airport in the south of the country, which is available for free on flightsim.to. You can find the link in the description of the video. And that's it for today. Incidentally, my employment situation is looking up, and it appears that I will most probably have a new website to write on by the beginning of January. I have several offers that look very promising. This means that my daily news may go back to the original written formats when that happens. I'll let you know as soon as everything is confirmed and I take a final decision. In the meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and leaving a comment is also a great way to support what I do. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.